Hey guys, it's Vivian. How y'all doing? So first off, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all the countries celebrating it right now. I know US and UK are doing it. Not sure about other countries, but I don't think Japan has a Thanksgiving day because you got to be thankful every day in that country. Anyway, so new One Piece manga chapter has come out and I can't wait. But first off, did anyone get their Pokemon Sun and Moon yet? Like, I think I'm going to be playing Sun and give this to my brother, Moon. Yeah, I think it's on Amazon Prime for like 32 bucks, so I just snatched that right up. Anyways, let's just get into the chapter. So, quick recap, we've got um, Luffy and Nami captured by... Well, you just finished fighting Cracker for like so many hours, and then you face an army, just two people, one homie, King Bomb, that's it. And I know they had like the little pawns helping them, but where was... Um, uh, Prometheus and Zeus. I didn't see them or it just like rushed by. Gotta see the anime for that but man Luffy's just exhausted and just like pummeled. Oh my god. Yeah so we got that and then oh my god Smoothie. She her bounty is crazy high. It's almost a billion and you can see her power squeezing that girl. Oh my gosh. But the good thing is if she does catch uh, Brooke, there's nothing to squeeze out. But she'll probably break his bones, you know. A <laughs> scooter joke. Uh, or skull joke. Anyways, um, Pedro and Brooke has a plan. So we're going to have to see it later. I don't know if we're going to see in this chapter. Because this chapter 847 is called Luffy and Big Mom. I'm thinking after she captures them. Like Sanji was like pleading with Big mom to or make an agreement to just let them go he'll go through with the marriage and all is happy maybe you know I feel like Sanji has a fake smile even though it looks so happy like it just doesn't seem like a Sanji move yeah so we got that but I feel like big mom is interested in Sanji because not only is she getting Jerma 66 but she'll have a connection with Luffy yeah, so I think she's going to try to make a deal with Luffy because, you know, Big Mom's goal is to unite all species, like, in harmony together. Even though it's like she's kind of a twisted person, but hey, she's, she's cool. She's cool. All right, let's just get into the chapter. So on the cover page, Rebecca and the Tontara tribe celebrate Kiro's birthday, Toshigiri Prefecture PN Daji. So Rebecca is just like clapping for her dad. This is probably the first birthday she had in so many years. The dwarves are there, manchetis on Rebecca's head. Leo's like comforting Kiro. He's like crying. And then there's like a creepy ki uh, king. Oh shoot, what's his name? King Riku's just like peeking through the window. It's like Chopper, but if he's like this. <laughs> yeah, lots of balloons, birthday. I wonder how old Kiros is. Maybe like 40? Anyways, let's get into the chapter. Mirror World, Brulee's house. Oh shoot, Carrot's crying like a lot. She's like, Bropper, rip it, help. It's so hot up here, rip it, rip it. Carrot's in trouble. Oh my God, they're cooking her in a stew. So Brulee's finally caught Carrot. I don't know about Chopper. And then um, Brulee's like, zip it girl, you're hurting my ears. Like Carrot's just like dangling from a rope up and then on the bottom is this like boiling huge pot ready to cook her, make a stew. There's a crocodile guy. Oh, I see Chopper. He's in his like, I don't even know what form this is, but um, he's like chained up and you got the other soldiers there. And then Carrot's like, ah, don't eat me. And the crocodile's like, I won't eat humans, but I don't mind giving mink meat a shot. That's true. And Chopper's like, let go of Charlotte Brulee. Okay, Chopper's like tied up and he's like, she's not a real rabbit. It's obvious that she won't even taste that good. It's a lie, but what's the croc say? What? For reals? Okay, maybe I should change my mind then. And Brulee's like, oh, shut up, you strange reindeer creature. You're going to join Mama's collection of strange beasts. Oh, that's why she didn't cook him. It's like, I have no interest in minks. We already seen Pedro and Peckhams. Let's just um, cook this carrot, rabbit, bink. Yeah, so... Chopper sitting there, or Bropper, and he's in deep thought. He's like, alright, I'll somehow manage to make it up to this point. Since I'm in heavy point right now, oh, heavy point. I'll, it'll be easy for me to get out of these chains by simply transforming. Oh, so he's just waiting for the right moment. He'll shrink and then get out of the chains and then initialize, initialize the plan. Oh my god. Alright, so here we go. Since it's been six hours since yesterday, since I used it, can... I can even transform into monster point if I need it. Okay, I thought, okay. A ribbit, a ribbit. Uh, I'm getting in the way of Pedro's gonna kill me. 
uh, uh, once the exquisite soup is finished, in she goes. And Chopper's like, this is my last chance. Oh, shoot. Get back on Whole Cake Island in the capital of Sweet City. Whole Cake Chateau, the library. <clears throat> so a whole new world tends to be hidden inside the books. Big Mom is looking through her library full of books. And she's like, looks like... Uh, like this one, it has a page of the rare man-eating lion that has the face of a man. Oh. Yeah, this is part of like the Greek mythology, maybe? Yeah, and it's like this little one is called the Mandacor. Uh, oh, she's um, having a conversation with the Vinsmokes. Yeah, you see like Yonji trying to look in, like um, Ichiji's just standing with his hands crossed and just Niji's like two years ago it escaped out of Impel Down after Blackbeard Roommate ambushed in the place. Oh yeah, I remember. It was um was it one of the jailers or not the jailers but like it was protecting Impel Down on like level three or four or something and Luffy had to fight it? I think. Am I wrong? I, I can't remember. Reiju's also listening. And uh, she showed another page of a unicorn. Uh, this page is one of my favorites, a real-life unicorn. It's a beauty, ain't it? Eh. Somehow it reminds me of Thriller Bark where those strange creatures are there. And Reiju's like, look, but more importantly, it's alive inside the book. Oh! Okay, so uh, Big Mom's like, the ones kept in this book will never age. So she can just like open it, take out whatever she wants. Well, actually, it didn't say she can take them out. I just assumed that. And it says, uh, but of course, the contents of a book don't just change every time you open it. Help, this is the ability of Montreal, one of my very own children. Oh, so we saw, it was a her, right, in action. Uh, the library is filled with books like this that, kept, that keeps all kinds of rare creatures tucked away safely. Amazing. Okay, maybe we're going to see uh, some of this in action later. All right, and so... All of the Vince Mucks there, she's telling them, My most recent addition to the collection includes a centaur from Punk Hazard. So she was there, because looking for Caesar. And a griffin that was found in the South Blue. Now let me out, please. And even something as cool as this, a hybrid of long arm and long leg human, known as long limb human. She's got humans in those things. So as long as you look weird, you're just special, unique, big mom wants you. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So maybe if Carrot can make up like a good story of why Big Mom would want her, but I don't think so. And the judge is like, Big Mom, ever since entering this country, we've witnessed an incredible amount of diversity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, of course, she said. That's my ultimate goal for Toto Totolan and I. Wait, however, there's one race in particular that I have yet to witness in this land. I feel like it would be hard to miss them if they were around. Mm, that's the judge thing. Oh, I'm talking about the giants. Oh, oh, Big Mom is pissed off. Like, is Big Mom related to giants or like what, what was, what's that about? I mean, <clears throat> there's some humans that are huge. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Like Do Flamingo or Kuma, they're like 30 feet tall. Like they're, they're not considered giants. Like when they were born, they're like normal size. But yeah, some people are huge. Are they considered giants? Yeah, what's Judge talking about? Uh, we we got dwarves last last arc, and now we got giants. All right, so Judge is like, for a country that boasts a population that includes every possible race out there, I've yet to see a giant, a single giant around. Oversized humans are the closest I've seen so far. Oh, oversized humans. Okay, okay. There's a difference. Okay. Well, what what's what was that face Big Mom made? That that was scary. And then um, she's like, really? Well, you probably just missed them. Oh, she's hiding something. That that face she made and then the fake smile and she's hiding something. Yeah. She, she could have said something like, oh, we don't got it. Or maybe this is like looking down on her. I, I don't know. The soldier's like, mama, 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 mama. We've got, we've got the two you've asked for. Oh, what's the Vince Milk say? Um, she's like, all right. Unfortunately, today is quite a busy day for me to have... I'd, I'd have loved to spend more time with you all in the beautiful weather, but I must go now, so have a rest, have a lovely rest of the day. Her eyes look like white out, like, like she's just like furious, I wonder what's going on. Uh, oh, she's leaving with like an angry look on her face, like she's pissed off. It's like, what's wrong? Sorry, I'm just a bit nervous. Oh, and then she's, she's looking back with the same face. What's going on? Did he, did he touch on a, on a sensitive subject? What, what's going on? <laughs> 
Yeah, so the German 66, they just look so cool, especially Lord Ichiji and Lady Lady Reiju. Pipe down, you're a real idiot, aren't you? You're letting in you're letting fiction influence you too much. What's on the outside doesn't matter in the end. Hmm. Is this um that soldier talking to Big Mom or like maybe like when they're talking like they touched on a touchy subject or maybe she just hates the judge like what what's going on okay i'll keep going okay within the whole kick chatel the prisoner library oh so they keep the prisoner in the books that that's pretty cool yeah so shit i lost the page flip flip where did i put him again page 55 <laughs> good thing you got someone to remember okay and then the um the candy guy the one of the Charlotte who controls candy, I think. He's like, oh, or lollipops. Oh, I love how bad these kids look. Look, looky. So there's like a prison in one of the pages, and there's Nami and Luffy. Nami's like, what's with this room? Let me out. Where's my shower room? Shower room? <laughs> I'm drenched in Mizuame, and it's pissing me off. I'm sure she just wants a shower because it's sticky. <laughs> but I was perverted mind thinking something else. <laughs> All right. So cuckoo, how sweet a little candy girl. Charlotte family's eldest son. Petals, petals, pe petals, petal. Yeah. Uh, so since this is a new, I think it's a new introduction. I guess he's new. I thought he was like the other guy, the minister of lollipop, the guy with Caesar a few chapters ago. So my mistake. Uh, Nami's pissed off. Luffy's just looking over, still messing the teeth. Here comes Mama. Okay, here's their conversation. I wonder how it's gonna go. She's gonna, maybe she's gonna tell him something about the Vince Muff. Maybe they're gonna have a secret alliance. What's going on? She needs Nico Robin, like from last chapter. Okay, okay, let's just go. Okay, so oh, oh, I thought this was Big Mom, but it's um Adenden Mushi with Big Mom's like face. It's like what the? And she's like, long time no talk, Straw Hat Luffy. So you finally come this far. A big mom, a transponder snail, or yeah. So, yeah, Nami's taking a bath, and Luffy's just like angry. He's like yelling into the mic, "Let me out of here! I need to get back! I'll break everything to get out of here if I need to." Mama, still, uh, mama, 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 still quite the lively one, I see. Um, you didn't bring along your entire crew, so I thought you had forgotten our promise back on Fishman Island. No, I'm definitely come to kick your ass one day, but right now I'm just here to get Sanji back. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you want to fight, then get then get your ass over here, Big Mom. I'll fight you right here, right now. Ha ha ha. Oh, but Luffy's out of strength and he refuses to eat anything. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, the uh, she's like, don't get cheeky with me, kid. You're a mere grain in the sand in the desert that just entered the new world. And. Charlotte's are laughing. It's like, you better not order me around like that. How presumptuous of you. I don't even need to be physically there if I wanted you dead this instant. I'm just scared they're gonna piss off Big Mom because you know how angry she was before. Like, Luffy might say something and it's gonna like explode on her, right? But Luffy is very interesting. He's got Garp and Dragon Revolutionary Army. Maybe she wants more connection, like a secret connection. Yeah, but you know, Dragon hasn't been in contact with Luffy, so. I don't know. Anyways, um, if you simply give up on Sanji, I'll let you loose this time around. The union between Sanji and Pudding really means a lot to me. So she's kind of negotiating, just like, let it go, okay? And until everything wraps up smoothly, I'll have you two wait patiently in there. But if you do anything to take away my upcoming joy, okay, so she's just gonna lock him up in there. But like, her face is like getting like shadowed out. Like, she's getting angry? I don't know. Oh, damn! Get ready to see hell! Oh my god! Wow, her face. And she's like, do you remember back in Fishman Island, you devoured an entire batch of sweet, sweet candy that was supposed to be for me? Oh, that pissed her off. He's, she's going to eat like a whole bunch of meat in front of him. <laughs> no. And then, and ended up giving me all the treasure you got from King Neptune as a way of paying me back. I'll give you all the treasures I've got. I'm paying you back for the candy here and now. And she's like, ha, mama, 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 what do you think was hidden in that treasure? You better not ask for it back now. What was inside? The infamous legendary treasure box of Fishman Island known as the Kamate Bako. What's inside? Is it related to, um, is it Neptune? Um, the prince, mermaid prince, Shirahoshi? Is it related to that? What's the Tama, Tamate Bako? Yeah, there's no translation or explanation. Okay, she's laughing on a chair, explaining. Now, why the hell did Neptune decide to let go of that? Is one of those things even worthy of being called a national treasure? Wait, what was Shirahoshi's name? Is it Uranus or Pluto? Yeah, anyways. And um, 
Big Mom's like, I've fallen in love with that little box, so I'm going to let go of the incident involving the candy altogether, and I'm going to open it in front of everyone at the tea party. Man, I'm so freaking excited. I can't wait for Luffy to crash that party. Like, Jinbei, please come. I don't know someone. Like, come back. Yeah, chopper, proper. And then Luffy's like, shut up, Sanji ain't marrying. Uh, speaking of which, let me see Pudding. She's my friend. Oh, oh. Uh, Luffy, don't tell her about Pudding. Your friend, huh? Is, is she gonna say Pudding tricked you? Huh? Have you gone nuts? Why would the bride be friends with you of all people? Also, little girl, I've been wondering. I heard you killed Lola. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? Uh, Lola's my friend. She gave me that beaver card as a symbol of our friendship. What's she, what's she gonna say? Is it good or bad? Um, flashback of Lola. Whenever you get in big trouble, use this to see mama. And if you ever do see her, tell her that I'm doing well. And Nami's saying, Lola's doing well. There's a message from her that I've been told to pass to you. She did tell me that her mama was also a pirate, but I would have never guessed that it would be someone as big as a Yonko big mom. Lola told us that as long as we showed you the Vivre card, you would definitely help us out. Oh, she's yelling, quit bullshitting me. Oh my god, Nami. I mean, maybe it's the wrong like situation. If they were here on some other business, maybe she would help, but like, Big Mom's like fed up. Okay, uh, what's the what's the explanation? Yeah, uh, who cares if she's doing well? Hell, if uh, I'd have loved if she were really dead. Oh, tell me if you know that if you know where the damn kid is. I'll immediately send in an assassin to get her eliminated. I can't believe she still thinks of us as family. What happened? I remember last chapter they said she was a runaway, and then. Uh, and then Big Mom's like, she truly has no feeling for how I feel. That kid is an imbecile who reject and ran away from one of my most crucial, crucial planned political marriages of all time. Remember, Lola was rejected four thousand four hundred forty-four times, like for like her own. But she had a planned marriage. Big Mom like had it all set up for her to marry someone. But what? I mean, her twin sister Shafan got married to um. Oh, I, I can't remember his name. That that guy. Um, was it? Uh, oh my god, I can't remember. Yeah. And then um, Nami's like, what? I'll never forgive her. Um, she's like, flashback. I'll offer myself as a bride, especially for you, boy. If you're not uh, taken already, are you? Um, <laughs> and then here's Lola as the zombie form. Absalon is meant to be mine. Um, here's her pretending to be Nami Zo. Like, I've been thinking that you two are made for each other. I'll support you two with all I got. What, really? Uh, I come to rescue. Oh, I love that part when she came to rescue Nami. It's like, my precious friend. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Nami's like, Lola, Lola, she died, and then when they reunited, she's like, Lola, I'm so glad to see you again. You're special to me, Nami, so you and I will be like sisters from now on. Oh, Lola. Here he goes. That day, if she had simply listened to me and agreed to the marriage, I could have gained immense power. Oh, my if it weren't for idiot, her idiotic rebellion, I would have been able to crush Kaido, Redhead, and even Whitebeard long ago. And by now, I would have been Pirate King! What'd you do? Was it... Was, does that have to do something with the giant? Or maybe Goldie Roger? I mean, Lola's probably... I don't know, she looks maybe 30s, 40s. Like Goldie Roger was still alive at the time. Maybe... I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking like crazy thoughts, maybe. Yeah, like who who could she have married that would make her be able to like defeat all the other Yonkos? Damn, damn. It's like I would have been Pirate King or Queen or what, what, what was it? Okay, Flash, uh, it's like Lola, Lola's friend Nami here. I'll definitely have you spit out her current location later on. Damn, Big Mom is furious, but we don't know where Lola is unless there's a way to contact. Uh, I don't know. Did Lola say? Maybe we're gonna see like extra stuff we didn't we didn't get to see in Thriller Bark. Yeah, I'm rewatching Thriller Bark. If anyone's like wondering, yeah, um, it's like what a boring story, Big Mom. Damn, th this has got so interesting. Oh my God, Lola's the one who didn't want to marry. You're the one that hasn't become Pirate King, and. Uh, Luffy's like, if uh, if our promise from before is gone, I'll just pick a fight with you again. You're the one getting all cheeky just because you're a damn Yonko. I'm definitely getting Sanji back. And the one that's, that'll win in the end is me. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Inside a guest room. Oh, Sanji's just like holding his head down. He's like, please stay safe, guys. Don't do anything rash. I know his top priority right now is 
the straw hats. He just wants them to be safe, especially Nami-san. Yeah, I know I keep saying like oh, him and Nami. I kind of ship them. I, I ship Nami with all the guys. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she's my girl. I don't want her to be like a slut or anything. Uh, anyways, um, it's an intruder. Tamago Baran is the tiger mate. You mean jaguar? Oh, he's a jaguar. I thought, yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, Pedro is a jaguar. I just wouldn't, not on my head. Pedro, you're really here. Okay, it's time for Brooke to get into action. He's holding his cane sword. He's like, well then, now that we're in a big mom sh Shimanji castle, it's time for me to give a special live concert. <laughs> Alright, one solo counter attack coming up. Oh shoot, I can't wait for Brooke to like shine. Look at his eyes, his glasses and his sword like a glimmer, ready for action. Like, oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Um... Yeah, I, oh my god, if he meets up with Smoothie, damn. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for, like, the skull joke. Uh, I don't know. But Big Mom didn't mention, back to Big Mom's conversation. I, I'm so curious, what is it that she is so curious about? This, uh, yeah, this, um, this chapter was really good. Yeah, I, I just love, like, any situation with Big Mom has been, like, really, really interesting. Yeah, we see, uh, we saw her fantastic beast and where to find them. <laughs> and, uh, we saw, yeah, I don't know if she's got something with the judge or something with giants, but she was pissed off after the meeting with the Vinsmokes and conversation with Luffy. And Lola, the thing with Lola, that's what got me this chapter. What happened? Who was Lola going to marry? That's what I want to know. Who? Damn. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, the end of the chapter. Oh my god, that was really good. I could ramble on, but it's time to go get ready for Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving, guys. See you guys next week. There is a chapter next week. No break, hopefully. So, see you guys next time. Peace out!